Hey everybody! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? <laughs> so guys, welcome to your readings for the month of December 2018. We are already at the end of the year. Where has the time gone, right? Um, we're coming up on the one year anniversary of when I started this channel. I started it January 8th of 2018, and it's been a really amazing year so far. Um, to grow to 12,000 subscribers in, you know, under a year, I mean, I hit the, I think I hit the 12,000 mark in October, I want to say. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Like, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support, for liking, sharing, subscribing, for just being here, especially to those of us, or those of you that are on this Twin to Flame journey. Thank you so much for being such an amazing support system, not just for me, but for everyone else that is on here. I mean, I don't know what I would do without the support of this community here we have on YouTube and everything. So I just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. You're amazing. And for those of you that are just finding the channel, welcome to the community. Welcome to the group. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. Yes. So I also want to wish everybody a very happy holidays, no matter what you celebrate during this holiday season. And even if it's just for New Year's, happy holidays and happy new year, guys. It's going to be, 2019 is going to be really awesome. I can feel it. I'm really excited to, to start, to get started. Yeah. So I just want to make a quick point about um, Western astrology versus Eastern astrology. Uh, so many of you that have been following me for some time know that I recently started studying uh, Eastern or Vedic or sidereal astrology and for me personally, it's been so powerfully transformative and so accurate that I really adopted a lot of that. So that is why in the description box, you'll see I have two options. I have two versions, my Western chart and my Eastern chart. Um, I put that both of those there for those of you that still resonate with the Western chart. And I did receive a question from someone at one point asking which one... Um, you're, you are when it comes to my channel. I would say, I would recommend that you really investigate your Eastern uh, Vedic or Sidereal. They're all the same. They're like the same name for one name for the uh, different names for the same situation. <laughs> but uh, I would say, I recommend that you look up your Eastern chart because more than likely, or yeah, more than likely, most likely you are going to resonate with that one. It's more accurate. Um, it has more detail. Not everybody does. Some people find that they still resonate with the Western. So that's why I keep both of those situations there. Ultimately, it is your choice to figure, to, to understand or decipher which one, which side you resonate with more. Me personally, in my personal opinion, and if I were to approach you and have a conversation with you, I would lean more towards the Eastern side of things, but ultimately that is your decision. So if you want to figure, like, watch both sides, um, whatever signs you resonate or you have in your chart and see which side resonates with you, go right ahead. Um, but ultimately, I'm leaving that up for you guys to decide, okay? But anyway, so these are your messages for the month of December. Um, these are general, re uh, general messages. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If something does not fit, please do not try to make it fit. You'll only make yourself uncomfortable in the process, yes? Um, they're general readings, so these energies are fluid. Um, they could, we could be talking about you specifically. We could be talking about someone else that you're connecting with or someone that's surrounding you. Again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I am available for private readings. All the information is in the description box below. I am going to be taking it a bit easy for the month of December, um, but I'm still available. So if you want to get a reading, go ahead and look at the description box. Yes. Um, keeping it cute, as always, with the normal stuff. We've got the Golden Universal Tarot, and we've got Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns. I love unicorns. And if you know me, if you've been following the channel, you know just how much I love unicorns. Yeah? So I guess that's it, guys. Without further ado, let's do it. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's get into it, shall we? All right. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, check it out. <laughs> check it out. I started channeling your energies, and as soon as I started channeling it, I just 
fell right into your propensity towards death, doom, and gloom, um, change, transformation. And it felt playful, but also then I started to realize, I started to understand the severity of what your energy really stands for. And I'm here to tell you, some of y'all are playing with fire and you need to be careful. <laughs> Just pointing that out there. I'm putting that out there for you guys. Like, I know, like, a very good friend of mine, she's a Scorpio. She identifies with Scorpio energy. Um, and she's very much about, you know, death, doom, and gloom. Um, you know, like Halloween. She loves Halloween. And that's great. And, you know, I love that about her. But, you know, I'm using that as an example. Sometimes you guys don't understand that the more you play with fire, the more you're going to get potentially get burned. And take that from a fire sign, guys. Even though I'm wearing this Taurus shirt, I'm still an Aries. Okay? I'm still a fire sign. And I've burned myself many, many times. And I really feel like some of you are like, gosh, why is my life so... Why do I always get such negativity in my life? Blah, blah, blah. Well, because you're playing with fire. You got to learn how to really use your energy for constructive means instead of just destructive. Like, okay, yes, Scorpio is all about transformation, but you need to really, some of you really need to start looking at that and saying, okay, what can I create out of what is being destroyed? Instead of just destroying things for shits and giggles or because you want to, just for the hell of it, or just because you're pissed, so you're now you're going to sting somebody and you're going to destroy everything. Instead... Look at it from a situation of, okay, I want to create something new. What do I want to recreate here? And then use your energies of transformation. Does that make sense? All right, Scorpio. I'm going to get off my soapbox now. <laughs> here we go. Let's see what we got for you. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. For December 2018. One more shuffle. And let's... Get to it. Boop. All right. Scorpio. Let's see what you got. Overall and... Good Lord. <sighs> the tower. But this is your energy too. Now it's Mars energy, but it could be Scorpio energy. This is exactly what I was just talking about, Scorpio. Using your powers of destruction for creative means. Creative destruction, not just destruction for the sense of destruction. No, creative destruction. What can you create out of what has been torn down or in place of what has been torn down? Yes, I really feel like some of you are coming to terms with that this month. Hey, you see? Yes, spirit, come through with it. That page of wands. For me, this is self-discovery. This is sizing yourself up, learning about how powerful you are or what powers you actually hold within your existence and learning to use them for the greater good. Yes. All right, Scorpio. But you see, when you do that, you get granted a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. And finally, <laughs> go on, Scorpio. Ten of Cups. All right, honey. But you see... Now, Scorpio, wait a second. Don't get too excited because you're not going to get this Ten of Cups if you don't learn the lesson with the Tower. If you don't learn about how to truly use your powers for the greater good, and I know of you, some of you are rolling your eyes because you might be along some of the gothic side of the spectrum. And hey, more power to you. Some of my, some of my really good friends, some of my best friends are gothic in nature. Like that one friend that I was mentioning, she's gothic in nature, and I love her for it. But okay, so don't so don't take my words so literally, oh, the greater good. Bullshit. Okay, I get that. But even if you're on the darker end of the spectrum, I still feel like there's a part of you that wants to help, that wants to help make things better. And even if you're gothic in nature, a lot of that a lot of that energy is about how shitty things are. Well, then do something about it. You've got all this destructive energy. You could tear whole cities down with a snap of the finger, energetically. You know what I mean. 
So use that to create something new, Ace of Pentacles. And ultimately, you'll find yourself with all of that fulfillment you have always wanted. 555 on the counter. Let's get into the rest of your reading here. First set of energies, first set of surrounding energies for your first half of the reading, you've got the Page of Swords. Ooh, learning. Learning, definitely learning. Page of Wands and Page of Swords. Also, someone could be watching you. Okay, but that's not really, the, no. Let's not even focus on that. Let's focus on you, Scorpio. Learning. Page of Swords is coupled with all right, the lovers. Now, someone really could be watching you or you could be watching someone else. Because now I'm getting a twin flame vibe. There was a situation that happened that was a big old tower moment for you. But it's forcing you to size yourself up. It's forcing you to learn about yourself. And in turn, that's giving you a new opportunity. This could be a new job with the Ace of Pentacles, but it also could be just a new a new physical start. But you could be watching this person heavily, <laughs> heavily with the Page of Swords and the Lovers. It's like you, can, you just can't get them out of your head. I'm hearing the song, Kylie, one of Kylie Minogue's songs. Um, I just can't get you out of my head. Boy, your loving is all I think about. It's called Can't Get You Out of My Head, I believe. It's off of her Fever album. I love me some Kylie Minogue, y'all. Anyway, <laughs> but that could be the situation here for you. Now, for others of you, this is learning about yourself. This is learning something new in order to bring the balance of masculine and feminine within together. Okay? Excellent. Second set of surrounding energies. Woo! The Ten of Swords. Yep. Completion. The worst is potentially behind you. Now, with this tower moment, if you dealt with a tower moment with someone, like if someone finally cut you out <laughs> of their lives or you cut somebody else out of their lives, that is, that it was a tower moment that really brought this cycle of negativity within this relationship to a completion. Because someone finally peaced out and said, I've, I've had enough of this. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Could be you, Scorpio. It could be someone else. Okay. Ten of Swords is coupled with, ooh, the Nine of Cups. Ooh. So I want to say this could be wish fulfillment. And ultimately, wish fulfillment is possible now that the, you know, the, the cycle has been closed out. The worst is behind you. The cycle has come to a completion. But there's also an energy, or some of you are like drowning your sorrows right now. You need to be careful of that. It's almost as if somebody is caught in this whole woe is me situation and is now like taking to self-medicating to try and quote, get through it. But for whoever I'm channeling for that's experiencing that, it's almost as if you're, you're, it's like pity party energies. And you may have some people around you that are just feeding that. That's egoic. That's your ego. Be careful with that, okay? Your current challenge for the first half of your reading here, you've got the Ten of Wands. So you're having to release burdens. So you reach the situation where you come to the completion of the situation, but you're still carrying some burdens. Like the, the, the situation's over. The tower happened. The tower moment happened. The situation came to a completion, but now you're still left carrying some burdens from it. And it's time to release them. Ten of Wands is coupled with, ooh, the Hanged Man. So, okay, so now that the situation has come to a completion and you're left carrying the burdens, you might be wondering why. Well, you're going to find out eventually. And that's not that's not a threat. That's not meant to be ominous. That's what I'm, um, what I'm saying is, eventually, in being in this burdens, precarious position, you will reach the enlightenment that you need in order to finally let down, throw, like, let go of these wands that you're carrying, okay? Your final message, or at least the um, potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, you've got, there you are, Scorpio, death, transformation, 
change. All good things. But again, let me ask you, how are, your, how are you using your powers for change and destruction? Mm -hmm. Death is coupled with <laughs> the Eight of Cups. So walking away. Either someone has walked away from you or you are walking from someone or a situation and that's bringing major change into your life. And this feels good, 11-11 on the counter. This feels great because it's something that has needed to change for a long time probably. Okay, getting into your second set for the reading here. First set of surrounding energies, you've got, hey now, the Ace of Wands. So after you've gone through this tower moment, after you've gone through some sort of self-discovery here, now you're inspired to move forward in a new direction. Ace of Wands is coupled with the Two of Pentacles, but still needing to keep balance, okay? So you went from the Ace of Pentacles here. You had a brand new start physically, all right? You're, you're starting over. The reset button has been pushed between the Ace of Pentacles and the Tower. And so now, and then you went through some self-discovery because that reset button was pushed. You had to, you had to figure yourself out a little bit more, but now you've done that, potentially. And you have the inspiration to move in a new direction, but now... So now you're at the Ace of Wands, but now you're at the Two of Pentacles and needing to keep your balance. Keep your finances in check. Keep your life in check. You know, do the mundane things that you have to do every day to live and survive, right? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for the second half of your reading, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. And here you are doing that work. Um, you might be getting really caught up in work right now. You might be using work to drown your sorrows in a sense to kind of forget about the, the major changes that are happening around you. That's not so bad, but ultimately you need to be able to, fo to feel this stuff and to heal it. Eight of Pentacles is coupled with, ah, hey now, the King of Swords. So you're, you're, I feel like you're very detached you got your sights set on what it is you want to do, what it is you want to achieve, and so you're going for it. And you're not really getting too emotionally attached to anything right now. Like, your focus is on your, your finances, your pentacles. But this is borderline apathy. Okay? So just be mindful of that. But also, you might be very determined um, in rebuilding your life in some way. Because you do have the Ace of Wands, and I'm getting a very passionate, fiery desire to rebuild after some serious destruction. And the King of Swords is kind of defending that. It's like, no, look, don't even fuck with me. Like, do not get in my way right now. I don't have the time or the patience. So you might as well just step to the side before I cut you down. There's that Scorpio energy again. Remember, using your powers of destruction for beneficial reasons, okay? Okay, your challenge for the second half of your reading here, you got reciprocation, reciprocity, Six of Pentacles. Your challenge is to find the balance between give and take. This could be in your job. This could be in your relationships. Your challenge also is not to get too caught up in your work. Because... Uh, keeping your focus in your work is not going to magically make all your problems disappear. No. Because once you come back out of that focus, those problems are still going to be there. And looking at how long, taking into consideration how long you let them fester there, they could might be pretty, uh, uh, pretty worse. A little worse than they were when you had the chance to deal with them before you got so drowned in work, right? Six of Pentacles is coupled with... Boop! The Eight of Wands. Interesting. This is an interesting challenge. Communication is what I'm getting with the Eight of Wands. So needing to communicate about your desires, which you need to keep the situation balanced. Clearing away the clutter, too. This is an energy of just clearing, cleaning house in order for things to be more balanced. Right? Your final message, or at least the potential outcome for the second half of your reading here, you got A, the Empress. Some of you might be getting preggers. 
If you don't want to get pregnant, then take your precautions. But it doesn't have to be this. This is an energy of abundance, of nurturance, loving yourself. Loving yourself enough to know that you deserve the best, no matter what you've been through in your life. Because the Empress loves unconditionally. She is like the epitome of unconditional love. And I'm really feeling like you are needing to show this to yourself. Most of all. The Empress is coupled with... Damn. Yeah, you really are needing to show yourself some unconditional love. Some Empress type love. Five of Cups. Regret. Remorse. Fear and anxiety, I'm hearing. Some of you may really missed out, have missed out on an opportunity. But love yourself enough to know that it's okay. You'll get another chance. It's not like you're going to be left behind. The only person that's going to leave you behind is yourself, to be honest. Oh, Scorpio. It's okay, boo. All right, let's get into your Oracle card for this month from the, from the unicorns. Yes, yes. <laughs> Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go, guys. Best message, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. From the Scorpios. Boop. There it is. Underneath the deck. Woo-hoo. You got strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through it to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. Everything is a blessing. Everything has its own blessing in disguise, okay? Aw, abundance. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. I told you. You'll get another chance. All is not lost. Getting another chance is assured. What is not, what is un, what is not assured is whether or not you will move forward from this lesson again. But you have to choose to learn the to learn the lesson so that you can move forward, and then you can move on to something new. Okay. So there it is, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I am available for private readings. I'm only going to be taking a certain amount. I'm going to try and take it easy in the month of December, but I am available for private readings. All the information is in the description box below, um, including my email and the different readings that I offer. Please go ahead and check that out. If you can't decide on what reading to pick, to choose, email me. We'll chat about it, and I will help you decide. Yes? Anyway. Much love to you all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I, uh, I hope you guys have a great month. I'm sending you so much love. And I look forward to connecting with you again very soon. Yeah. Take care. Mwah! Bye.